I'm Dr. Rosalind George from Wilmington Dermatology Center in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I'd like to give you some information on salicylic acid peels. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid, and how beta hydroxy acids are different from alpha hydroxy acids is that beta hydroxy acids are lipophilic, meaning that they love fats or lipids. And so salicylic acid really penetrates deep into the pore. The most common reason we use salicylic acid peels are for acne or oily skin. Um, you can use it on the face, you can use it on the chest and the back. I usually use it to jumpstart an acne program. So someone comes in, they really want to see improvement um, more quickly than what a typical acne treatment will give them, and the salicylic acid peels are a really good way to, to do that. It's very easily applied. What normally happens is um, either an esthetician or a dermatologist will apply it. Um, first, you have to defat the skin. So you'll cleanse your skin, and then they will either wipe your skin with an alcohol wipe or an acetone wipe to make sure that all the oils are gone so that the chemical peel can actually penetrate. And then they use a um, small gauze pad to wipe the salicylic acid onto the face. Uh, typically, there comes in 20% or 30% salicylic acid. Um, most people will start with the 20, and then if they do okay with 20%, then they'll up it to 30%. What you can expect is that your face will be a little bit pink, like you have a mild sunburn. You will notice a slight frost, almost like crushed aspirin on your face. And then, basically, you'll start to peel little fine flakes for just three to five days. Um, salicylic acid, in addition to loving lipids and penetrating deep into the oil glands, is also a very good anti-inflammatory, so it can help with some of the redness associated with acne as well. That was some basic information, but before you start any skincare program or have any procedures, please consult with your dermatologist or skincare specialist.